Hello, I'm going to do a tutorial quick here. This one won't be too long. I'm going to do it about uh, how to use the WP Bakery, which is also known as Visual Composer, with the Listing Pro theme. Uh, they have some uh, widgets you can use, or whatever you want to call it, to put in uh, on pages. So you can do things like this or like this or like this or you can edit them you can put your backgrounds in now I'm not really good with WP Bakery but I get by um, so I'm gonna go back into that now I'm gonna make this a quick video so we're gonna go here to pages let's select uh, home page so now that it's open if, if it this doesn't show click uh, the it'll say it there it won't say classic mode but it'll show the WP bakery page builder and then uh, let's go and select something um, under here under exclusive so what we're going to do is we're going to go one two three so the third line down will be the exclusive so here's what we're going to do this is just an example one two three so this when you get into here this is the actual widget this one controls this area so like if you need spacing you can get over here and get into the spacing but you can always look up there I and mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on that but there's not many on this so you go listing posts how many do you want there well they got it for three list view or grid view let's select it as grid view and we'll go with a grid one you can always select your different ones and then uh, we're going to leave it at three save changes update we're going to refresh it should be uh, sideways now okay see how that changed they were like a list now they're going sideways so now watch this one two three now you're gonna go all the way over here to this one and this is the row settings you can put an icon there and things like that if you want you gotta scroll down I usually leave that at center so you want to put title say exclusive and you can make the title left or center and you can edit what's written in there for that line change the color of it and you notice when I change the color I just selected the color and then you can you can do all that with it but then you don't have to hit enter or anything you just click out in this open area or scroll down a little bit and click and then it'll save um, this is important if you're going to do a full width like a background I usually select full width center content leave this one blank and then if you're going to put an image in background image let's select this one this one is 2104 pixels by 355 pixels select then background repeat I haven't really messed with that because I usually just leave the background there you have different options here you hit save changes update 
I remember that background was just white. Now it's going to have a picture. See that? Now watch when we refresh. I don't look too good because of the way this is, but we only had one and we had it list view, it looked good. But that gives you an idea how to do the background. It's not real difficult. Could always do it down here in the bottom, bottom row. Should look pretty good down there. Let's go. This is the very bottom. Now see, I'm still trying to mess with figuring out how to center that bottom. And I could always do this. I could make another point here. Like I could do this. And put this one there. update then this should theoretically move over yeah it went over some but if you add some more pictures in it'll fill up more so it'll look more centered See that? So I mean, these are just things you can do. Like if you click this, the picture is going to go big. So that's some kind of neat things you can do. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Oh, let me get back in here. Now, you want to add something new? you can click this or if you want to add something to this row you can click here and add something to that row I'm gonna make a new row and then I'm gonna move that row so in this row let's go ahead and go into here listing pro and let's put um, listings by you can do location location and category or by recent so you can do like if you select this one you can go Boston automotive and select your city automotive or whatever category how many you want there list view or grid view how about we do this let's go with uh, location and let's do Denver list per page one and we'll leave it at list view so there's just one and now let's go ahead and put a little spacing let's put 25 pixels at the bottom 25 pixels there we're gonna go back over here we're gonna hit save changes and we're going to make a background for it. We'll do this one full width. And then for the background image, we'll do that coffee cup again. And then, uh, well, I don't know what those are. I should look into them. But I've never had to use them, really. Update. I want to see how that came out. Came 
not big. Well, here's the thing. And, but, check this out. So now, let's say you want to move it. Grab it by here. And you just move it up. And if you want it all the way, at the very top, you do that. Update. And remember, this is the top of our page. And that's the bottom. Watch this. Blam. There it is on the top now. Not on the bottom. Alright. And they have other plugins you can get that'll work with uh, WP Bakery. And uh, you should always learn how to use like uh, short code mapper. It's not hard to do. Many videos on short code, short code mappers. Um, so we did all that. Remember, after you do changes, I found the best way to keep this one going good is. Over here and do on one of these. Flush permalinks, save. Delete all cache, minified SS, CSS. Then, there it is. In case you all forgot, I'll put a picture in here just so you. You remember how you do that. Go down here, locations. My bad. Chicago. Add a picture of Chicago. <laughs> this happy guy. Let's put this girl in here because no one in Chicago is that relaxed. They're outside of the city, but not in the city. I can say that. I was raised there. <laughs> All right. A yoga lady there. I should be her there now. I am. Look at that. Pretty neat, huh? Alright. Hopefully this helps you out.